Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to Armored Warfare for the continuation of our new player guide series, um, being part three. Uh, where today um, we are going to look more at what's happening here in the garage, um, how to navigate the garage. Uh, you know, we've talked about what is Armored Warfare, uh, we've talked about the training mission, uh, which you, you will do if you just come to the game. But then the garage, there's so much when you look on your screen here, uh, all over the place. So how do you navigate it? How do you go about it? Um, in Armored Warfare, they've done something really helpful uh, as a new player. Uh, there's two ways we can find out about this. One is to, to view hints. We can press the F1 key. Um, so if I just go ahead and do that now, you're going to see uh, 19 things pop up here on the screen. Granted, there's actually only 18. Uh, they don't have a number 18, so it goes from uh, 17 to 19. So what I want to do here is just go around the screen and just give a, a really short summary. I mean, it's really fast. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, just how do you get around the garage? Um, this is really, I didn't actually know about this when I first started playing. Otherwise, it had been more helpful for me, and I would have taken the time to kind of understand how am I navigating and what is what um, here uh, in the game. So uh, with that being said, uh, you can see as we go around and we hover our mouse uh, on these different things uh, that it lights up uh, in this um, key interface <laughs> down here below or just the uh, the center of the screen you see it's a shift uh, to whatever I put my mouse cursor on and it gives us a little brief uh, introduction of a summary of what those things are so uh, one uh, is your main menu you click this button to open the main menu uh, basically that's where you see your settings support um, and training mission uh, I'll be talking about uh, the menu next week because there's actually a lot to cover here Ironically, I already recorded that video because I thought I had already done this video last week, but I didn't because um, I, I changed what I was doing because I did the training mission instead. Um, but you'll have a video. We'll talk about all those things. So some really helpful stuff in there, especially as a new player. And again, if I click uh, the F1 key, uh, then we see premium grants you more gold and credits. Uh, so if I click this, uh, you can see, well, let's hover over it first. With an active premium account, you'll earn 100% more credits, 50% more XP and speed up completion of dealer prerequisites by 50%. Click to upgrade to a premium account and start earning bigger rewards. So what's important to note here real quick is it says completion of dealer prerequisites. Um, you don't have like nations. Uh, when we talk about uh, the vehicles, the tech tree here, it's kind of like these dealers and that's where you buy these different uh, AFVs, main battle tanks, so on and so forth. It's done by dealers. So if I click uh, on this, uh, you can see for gold um, in-game currency, which I have 1,043 gold, you know, I could purchase almost seven days, but uh, we'll just be purchasing the one or three days right now if we don't have any in our inventory. Um, but uh, again, it gives us uh, an explanation of what that is here. Again, going back, uh, then we have gold. Uh, so it's, it's actually funny. Like they're talking mostly about the things that they gives them money first before talking about, you know, ammo and those type of things. But gold is a premium currency which you can use to buy premium, um, premium vehicles or convert uh, XP. So you can see if I hold up here, it says you can top up. Um, you click to purchase gold from a website. So if I click here, it'll actually take me to the website. I'm not gonna do that, um, but it's there for you to know about. Then you have credits, the main currency used to purchase vehicles, modules, ammo consumables, and retrofits. So you can see I have about a hundred million uh, right now. We're actually we're doing pretty good. Uh, credits are earned uh, through playing matches and are used to play uh, purchase many items such as vehicles and vehicle upgrades. Click to convert gold into credits. I don't recommend converting uh, your gold in, into credits. I don't even know. It's one gold for 1600 cash. Yeah, uh, that wouldn't be so hot. Uh, so I don't recommend doing that, but you know, it's there, uh, I've told you. Then you have uh, XP and reputation. The orange uh, number shows the amount of reputation that can be spent to advance any vehicle. Um, another way to think about reputation is think of it as like free XP. The gray number uh, shows the amount of XP earned uh, with we, uh, renowned vehicle, ones that have 100% progress. Uh, so 
Uh, I'll go ahead and click on this so you can see reputation speeds up vehicle and commander progress. Reputation can be earned in battles or obtained in exchange for experience. Experience, when a vehicle reaches 100% progress, it continues to earn XP, although it no longer needs it. All this XP stacks up and can be converted into reputation. Click to open the conversion window. So you can then convert uh, that XP that's already, that's stacking up on tanks that you fully research um, and you don't need that XP anymore. Uh, for uh, uh, 125 XP, we can convert over to the reputation for one gold. Um, I don't recommend doing this. You can see the max I could get right now would be 130,000 um, and 375 uh, XP uh, over uh, into uh, reputation. And so then that would uh, boost up uh, our total uh, reputation uh, from 561,000 uh, to five, or 691,000. Again, I don't recommend doing this, but that's just an explanation of those two things. And then we have a uh, boost. The first two slots are used to activate boost and the third shows bonuses from different events. So that's uh, right here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll click on this. Um, and you can see that we can come through our inventory and we can choose different boost options. So I might say, hey, I wanna go ahead and I want to um, use my platinum battlefield glory boost for 12 hours, which gives me all these perks. Um, and I would just uh, click this and it's gonna ask, which slot do I want it in? Uh, do I want it in the global slot or the premium slot? Now note if I said premium slot, it's gonna yoink 100 uh, gold for me. So make sure you choose that global slot and I would click activate. Um, and then I'm pretty sure if I wanna activate one of these other standard boosts, let's say it's a battle coin boost, um, it will actually doesn't cost anything in the premium slot. Um, so that's just kind of a trip a tip there. Uh, when you're wanting to boost something, like uh, if I'm gonna be running uh, platinum battlefield glory boost then i'll activate that first uh, in the global slot and then i'll activate one of these other boosts because it doesn't um well that one costs and <laughs> not the battle coin booster that's what i was looking for it doesn't cost me to run the battle coin booster in the premium slot um, but these others uh, here um, it will cost you 25 gold to run so um, just keep that in mind and then you have your ranked safety uh, token, um, which doesn't cost anything in the global or the premium slot. Okay, let's go back to the garage. Oop, battle path popped up. Um, so seven is the commander. You can assign your commander to different vehicles. So you can see right here, I have uh, Sabrina Washington. If I click on her, uh, it will show her skill uh, points available. Uh, then her skills uh, here. Uh, which we have, and I can kind of see a summary of these different uh, skills when I um, move around and I look down through here. So you can see how you build them out. This will be a completely different video I'll do later to talk uh, more thoroughly um, about this um, because there's uh, a lot happening here, but I can see uh, her here. I see my commander here um, and have a better overview. Then we come into crew members. Uh, the, these are the crew uh, members of the selected vehicle. Unlike commanders, they cannot be assigned to other vehicles. So commander can be moved around uh, on any tank in the game. Crew member, um, they are locked to that specific tank. Um, so uh, you can see here we have a driver and then we have a gunner. If they go to something more like a main battle tank, you'll see three crew. Um, and then I'll double check here uh, with maybe an SPG. So it's a a light tank because I'm wondering about the artillery if they have a different crew size yeah they have uh, so you, you can also see that there's a loader and then another loader or for the SPG so this crew will always be locked on in this tank alone but let's just say I'll go back to this is standard main battle tank you'll normally see three options uh, I click on them um, and then I can see as I play the tank uh, and their c crew XP um, builds up then I can choose a, a list of different options uh, for uh, my driver and then for my uh, gunner. Uh, he's gonna have some different options uh, here as well. And then my loader is also gonna have some options here. Again, I'm gonna do this in a different video, uh, not in today's video. Go back into here and then we have vehicle panel. Uh, this shows key vehicle info, name, class, progress, and XP. So the nine. So uh, if I click here or 
it's actually I don't get to click here, uh, but it shows uh, tier one. Um, it is an M41, uh, the name of it, and then that it's a light tank here. And then of course, uh, I can see my progress that I've been uh, earning on the vehicle. So if I've, I've fully uh, maxed out the progress, then you'll see it says 100%, and then I can move on to the uh, tier two um, after the Walker Bulldog and just purchase that for credits. Um, then we have basic stats, upgrade, armor, inspector, customization, and status buttons. Uh, so that is uh, all here. Um, so we can click uh, on upgrade um, and we can see a whole uh, list of things in terms of our protection, our firepower, our mobility, uh, the other, um, and then tanks that I can branch off into uh, from it, uh, from the M41 Walker Bulldog. Um, and then I think they were also showing me the, and no, they actually weren't showing that. Uh, we can also go to click on show vehicle protection system, uh, customize the vehicle ex ex uh, appearance, and then show vehicle stats. Uh, so if click on this, and uh, then armor calculator, armor layout. So depending on how uh, I angle, it will show uh, what will have a pin at a distance, uh, so on and so forth. I can go decals um, and camouflages. I can put some camouflages here. Again, I'll do that in a different video. Then I click on this, I can see the vehicle stats. Uh, it will take me all into the sustained damage, defense, mobility, utility, and targeting. So again, there's a lot of things there. We're not doing that. This is just kind of uh, get you started, so to speak. Uh, then we have vehicle stats, click the arrows and see more detailed information. So if I want to see uh, what I was seeing on that other screen, so to speak, uh, and just want to click down on these click down arrows, it'll give me some information uh, and I can list this out here. Mobility, um, see how fast our max speed is, um, see our vision range, our camo overall, uh, camo uh, while moving, vision range while moving, and then our targeting, whether we're talking about gun depression and elevation, so on and so forth. Then 12 filters simplifies your vehicle search. Uh, so if we're trying to navigate uh, our mini tanks here, I can just click on this. Uh, I can change the dealer. Remember I didn't. I said we don't have uh, nations uh, represented the tanks, but dealers. Uh, so I can click on a specific dealer. Uh, then I can click on a certain uh, tier for him. Uh, I can choose uh, a different vehicle class, whether we're talking about AFV, main battle tank, etc. Um, and then I can choose uh, a favorite vehicle, reserve vehicles, premium vehicles, uh, progression vehicles, so on and so forth. Or I could just search uh, by their name. So I can just 262. Boom, right there. Continuing on. Uh, insignia, special items that can help you earn better rewards for a battle. So I didn't know about this actually for a while. I just completely ignored this. But these are your insignias, disposable signal battle boost tokens. They're consumed in each battle. Click to open the insignia window. So I can come in here and I will see commander XP, crew XP, uh, credits, reputation XP. Uh, I can click auto resupply. So after returning from battle, supply this vehicle with insignia of the same uh, type and quality if available. If I don't want this auto resupply, I just click that and I turn it off. But then you can see there's five different levels um, of um, insignias. So we have Commander XP 10%, Commander XP 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. Maybe we're talking about credits at plus 2.5, plus 5, plus 10, plus 15, plus 25. So though on the right side is the better, uh, left side is kind of the bottom of the bucket, so to speak. Um, so then we can be uh, utilizing these to help us in our grind. So we actually have a, a decent number of these. Um, so I need to be using them actually a little bit more than I currently am. And then we have uh, ammo. Um, so the field shows the ammo that is currently loaded on your vehicle. If it's empty, you cannot fire. Um, so if I come down out of this and I click on ammo, um, we can see that I have a, a host of options uh, that I can be running here, uh, which honestly uh, probably need to, might need to make some changes here. But we can see high explosive anti-tank, high explosive. Uh, we have our high velocity armor piercing discarding sabots. So 
there's that. And then you have just standard high velocity armor piercing. And then we have our auto cannon. Uh, so we can uh, direct, click and drag, adjust these. You know, so here I can see this heat has penetration of 525, it does damage of 180, where this does uh, pins only the 25, damage 210. Uh, so maybe I'm like, ah, eh, maybe I don't want that as much. Maybe I want to do that, or I want a combination of both. Um, but um, we can do that as well. Um, so depends on what you want to do uh, with that here. Uh, so normally what I do um, is that you can also click and drag uh, these around. So it's be like one, two, one key, two key, three key, um, then the four key. Um, so then I like to have my high explosive first, then my arm piercing, then my auto cannon. Um, you know, then if we were also doing another option here, uh, I could do something like that if I wanted um, as well. Uh, but it's up to you and how you want to organize that. And then we can choose again the rounds that we have. Um, consumables. Consumables provide you with special abilities and battles. So that is uh, right down here. So if I click on that, you can see there's a list of four options. So we have. For the vehicle, we have spare parts, surplus parts crate, fire extinguisher, improved fire extinguisher. Then you have for the crew, a med kit, first aid kind of, uh, cabinets, uh, an energy drink. Then we have stats for like oil, increased vehicles acceleration, and uh, hull traverse. And then you have uh, for like PVE, uh, the field rebuild kit, and the experimental field repair kit. So this is just like a one time, and this is like a three, can be used three times and getting your full uh, hit points back. Uh, there as well. So uh, we can see vehicle specific ones, crew specific ones, stat specific ones, and PVE specific ones. So we can uh, filter that there as well. I actually need to clear that filter so we can see more of these tanks again. All right, we're getting there. Retrofits. Ref retrofits provide additional bonuses for your vehicle. Uh, so you can actually see we don't have any retrofits um, on this M41. Uh, but if I click on it, and come into here, uh, then I'm going to see uh, several different categories. Uh, I can say I want to sh say show only unlocked. I have some more I need to unlock by playing different tanks and up different lines here in the game. But I can see my armor slot. I can see my firepower slot. You know, I can improve my inc uh, rate of fire. From, <laughs> this is the version 2, which is like 3 million credits versus just 1 million credits. But you can see 5.5% versus 12.5%. Um, so the version 2 usually just better than the version 1s. I can see my mobility slot, my technology slot as well. So there's still a, a good number of things I actually need to unlock. So I don't say this as I'm giving this new player guide series as a veteran player of the game. I very much still consider myself a noob, maybe beginning to get into the intermediate realm of the game. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, then you have vehicle panel. Uh, this is a list of your vehicles. So that's literally just this. Right? Uh, it goes from tier one um, and up. I'm going to click the arrow or I can go um, take a whole shift of the panel, so to speak. Um, so that's helpful there as well. Not, much, not too much there. Then we have, they don't have 18. I don't know what 18 ever was, but then you have a 19, the trade platform. Click this button to open a trading platform where you can buy different game goods. So um, if I, it's just the shop. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's uh, what it is. So then you can see it's loading up my uh, Steam um, or taking me back to the game launcher and that. Uh, but that is how to navigate the garage. Um, so again, just press the F1 key. So I have to press if FN, then the F1 key. And then it come through and just kind of help you as a new player to familiarize yourself with the garage. It's so kind of overwhelming at first, but hopefully uh, that helps you have a better idea um, of uh, what you're looking at when you first get into the game. So if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you have subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you to my uh, Patreon supporters as well. So until next time, take care.